Hi everyone, it's Veronica from Blue Star Crochet and in today's video tutorial I would like to show you how to work or how to create this X closure on a hat. Um, so this is another option on how to close a hat when you make it from a rectangle or when you work bottom up without um, decreasing to shape the crown so this is another way apart from you can cinch the top just going round or you can create this x closure as you can see um in the shape of letter x and this is the finished result um this is how the x closure sits and it's it's a nice way to finish off a hat so i've been working on a crochet hat uh, this is waistcoat half double crochet stitch um, it gives you this beautiful knit look texture. Um, it's very easy to work, much easier than split single crochet or waistcoat single crochet. Um, and it, as you can see, it's kind of much more um, pliable and it's got it, it's much more movable fabric in my opinion anyway um so if you wanted to check out the um waistcoat half double crochet tutorial it's on my youtube channel as well and written um, instructions on my blog so i will link to both in a description for this video um as you can see it creates a reversible fabric as well um and it's got slightly different look on the on the wrong side of the fabric um it's just the the knit look stitches are a little bit smaller than on the front but i think this is still really nice and fun texture um to have and this is the front where you've got um slightly bigger knit look stitches okay so as you can see i've got uh, my working yarn still attached to the to the last round so this is what i'm going to be using um there's no need to kind of fasten off and then rejoin um, the yarn because you'll just unnecessarily create another end so first thing we need to do um to create the x closure for your hat we're going to be working on the wrong side so i'm going to turn the hat inside out and we're going to be sewing um the top together on the wrong side um of our work um second thing is um you need to find the opposite so i'm gonna have the joining stitch or my first stitch here in the middle and what we need to do is kind of find the middle stitch on the opposite side so um i have got 64 stitches i believe uh so i've marked stitch number 32 so this is the middle stitch um and i'm gonna line up those two stitches so my first stitch with the stitch in the middle they're going to line up so that's going to be your um middle point where we're going to start from so i'm gonna um thread my needle i'm gonna use the yarn that's already attached and i'm gonna show you how to fold the hat um to create the x closure okay so i've got my first stitch and i'm gonna line it up with that stitch there and I'm just gonna go through the first and the marked stitch like this just once and remove this little yarn marker so I'm just gonna go through one more time so we fix these two together so that's just it doesn't move so I've <clears throat> stitched together the first stitch and the stitch we marked the marked stitch was the middle stitch so I've got 64 stitches on my hat and i have marked stitch number 32 so they line up together like this um if you really if you've got um you know odd number of stitches or anything like that if it's not exact um half you know you don't have to worry about it because you know nobody's gonna um when you look at the x closure like this i don't think i've actually ever counted these stitches so i just kind of eyeballed it so if you if you're okay to do so if it's not going to be playing on your mind that it's not the exact number of stitches as you can see even if it's not down to the exact number it still kind of works out really cute so um let go of the perfection and um yeah uh let's just eyeball it here Okay, so I fixed the first and the 32nd stage of the middle stitch. And now to create the X closure, we're going to take 
this edge here and fold it inside like this to create the X closure like this, okay? Again, if you really wanted to, you could count and find, you know, if you really wanted to, you could sort of count these stitches and find the exact stitch in the middle on this edge. But really, like I said, I'm just going to eyeball it like this. So I'm going to pretend it's this stitch here. So I'm going to fold it in. And I'm going to secure it just in the middle here. Okay. And it's going to fold in this fashion. Okay. So we're just fixing the middle stitches here. Like this. And then I'm going to do exactly the same thing on this side. So I'm going to pretend it's this stitch. On there. I'm just going to mark it. <clears throat> And now again, we're going to, if I spin it this way, we're going to fold this in to create this shape. <clears throat> okay, so all my middle stitches are kind of fixed together here. And now we're basically just going to stitch it up all the way across going through all four layers so i've got my yarn in the middle but i like starting from the middle just to fix um fix the middle stitches a bit so i don't i know that it's not going to move about and it's going to be as even as i as i want it to be as even as possible so I'm going to just wiggle these nicely so they line up all four layers. You need to go through all four layers of your hat. OK, so I'm just going to go back through here. And we're just going to stitch it together. Make sure you're going through all four layers of your hat. Otherwise, your X will fall apart. So, one, two, three, four. Four layers. And that's what we're going to do, basically. Stitch it up at the top. I hope you can see this well. And you just continue until you get to the very, very end. Um, again, you can do it stitch by stitch, kind of um, make sure that all the stitches are lined up. But ain't nobody got time for that. <laughs> so here we go. <clears throat> and I'm going to, so I've gone through those four layers there, all these four layers, and I've gone right to the end, so I'm gonna fasten up here, and I'm gonna join my yarn in the middle again and work my way out to here. Okay, so as you can see, that side is fast enough. I'll see to that end in a second. And I've made a looser knot at the end of the um, yarn, and I'm gonna rejoin the yarn in the middle okay so this is all nicely still lined up so i'm going to go through the middle stitch here and what i like to do is go through this knot at the end so it doesn't actually pull through so you kind of join it with a loop like this and then just tighten your knot There we go. So it doesn't pull through the stitches because they are um, <clears throat> way too loose to hold the yarn down. Okay, so 
and um, here we go. We're just going to repeat the same, same process for the other side, making sure you catch in all four layers of your fabric of the hat. Um, going through stitches. Make sure you cut all four layers. And we're going to go right to the end. Like this. And again, we're going to fasten off. Make a knot. Um, and again, I'm going to see to that end um, later. So here we go. That's the wrong side of your X closure. And we're going to now turn it the right, right side out or the right way. And here is your X closure. You just need to kind of manipulate it a little bit. Um, Kind of push the X out a little bit like this. Um, and here we go, that's the, that's your X, X closure on a hat. That's how you that's how you make it. Um, so I so you need to just manipulate it a little bit. So here's your X, X closure um, on a hat. And um, I hope you like it. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Here is another, another X closure hat that I... Um, this one is um, made on a knitting machine. I didn't knit this. <laughs> well, I did, but on a machine. Um, so yeah, here is your um, X closure for a um crochet hat so it's just another alternative to um closing or cinching the top of your hat and um i hope you like it i hope you're gonna give it a go and give your hat a bit of a different look uh with the x closure okay so in the second part of this tutorial i will show you how to uh, work the classic um, singe, how to singe the top of your hat. So if you work a rectangular hat, apart from the X closure that I've just shown you, you can actually um, do just a classic singe where it kind of the top all gather, gathers up into the middle. So I've got my um, needle um, and I've got my yarn attached to the hat. And what I do is I basically go in through the stitch then I miss the next stitch and I'm gonna go sort of out the other stitch okay then miss stitch and go into the next one then miss another stitch and into the next one so you're gonna go kind of in and out the fabric in and out but I do it into every other stitch okay so I'm in this one so I'm going to miss a stitch and go to the back, miss a stitch and come back to the front. And again, miss a stitch, go to the back, miss a stitch and come back to the front. Okay, so that's basically what you do all the way around um, the top of your hat. Um, and then this this is a running stitch so it's as you can see it's flexible yeah you can pull it so it's not kind of fixing the hat yet um you just need to go all the way around the top uh in and out like this and you're basically going to repeat this until you reach the the place where you started the very first stitch um So here we go, all the way around. Uh, this one, here we go. 
um, if you go through every single stitch, um, it's, I've tried that as well. Wait, no, back in the first stitch. I've tried that as well, but it's, it kind of gathers it up too much. I find going through every other stitch works much better. Okay. Um, by all means, you can try it if it works. For you it works for you there's nothing to say that because it doesn't work for me it's not going to work for you but i prefer to do it into every other stitch because then the cinch kind of lies a bit flatter it, it's if you try to bunch up all the stitches you kind of get that that bump at the top if i do it through every other stitch the the top of the hat lies nice and round okay so i reached the first stitch and basically what we're going to do now is start pulling on this string as you can see I'm gonna start pulling and we're just gonna kind of manipulate the stitches into position like this and you basically this is what I mean you can actually close the hole quite tightly as you can see if you do it through every other stitch if you do it through every stitch, what I find is that this hole that's at the top of the hat, if you do it through every stitch, it kind of stays like this because there is too many stitches trying to bunch into the middle. So I find going through every other stitch works so much better and you can actually, as you can see, really close the hole tight, okay? And you just keep pulling, keep pulling on that yarn until it's as tight, as tight as you can possibly get it. But warning, don't, you know, yarn is not unbreakable. Please remember that. Learn from my mistake where I've pulled and pulled and pulled and eventually the yarn snapped. It snapped way too short and then I couldn't actually do anything. So there we go, double knot to secure it. And this is just a classic um, way to cinch the top of your hat. Um, I'm going to use these two strings. I'm not going to cut them off because I'm going to pull them to the wrong side. Um, I'm going to pull them to the wrong side of the hat into the inside. And I'm going to use them to attach a pom-pom uh, to the top. So I'm going to use these two. That's why I'm not cutting them off. So um, this is a different way um, how to finish off a hat. This is the classic um, cinch. This is the classic way to close the top of the hat. So it's it's like a kind of round. Um, looks like a flower, actually. It's quite pretty. So, um, yeah, this is the um, another way how to close the top of your hat.